hello there a quick video today i am going to break down one of these guys if you don't know what this is this comes with every model three and a model y i guess uh the upcoming model y that it's gonna start being delivered it might start coming into the model s's too but i think maybe they get a bigger one because this one is the mobile version that is capped at 32 amps right so anyways this is the cable that plugs into the wall uh, and then it allows you to charge your tesla so here we go right let's break it down let's see what's inside here i have another one that was faulty and so i've taken it apart so here we go it's got this molded uh plastic in here so uh it's glued together so you won't be able to take it apart without destroying it and so here we go let's take it right so here you can see that all the glue was on the edge there it's got those little lights in here that light up the word tesla with either red or green if there's an issue or if it's good to uh to charge right so it's pretty the design is pretty clever here it's one circuit board that has everything and it's got these little connectors for the components that are on the bottom side and of course this is the input right so this is 110 or 240 or 220 right up to 32 amps and then it, another cable comes out of here these are high quality cable i think these are 12 gauge cables um that will handle up to 32 amps they are pretty small for that gauge and so these k this uh cord right here is deceivingly um thin right uh but it can carry the the 32 amps continuously so this is pretty cool okay so once you do that then you take four screws that go here let's take them apart all right there we go and then yeah there we go uh something to notice here is everything yeah so everything is connected there but like this this is a thermistor which goes in down right here so it basically oh that car is so noisy and you can you guys turn your cars down please anyways what this does it measures the ambient temperature of inside this cavity here essentially right and so if for any reason uh in the manu manufacturing process they forgot to torque down these screws right they have a uh, loctite there as you can see that blue stuff but for some reason that they they come loose over time or something then it's going to create heat in there which is gonna this guy is gonna pick it up and then hopefully he's gonna tell the car to derate, right? To try to keep this temperature from a certain thing. So either it cancels it, it turns it off this little unit and stops charging and just says this is a faulty uh, device, you know, or it'll derate it because uh, this thing can send messages to the car and basically tell it to derate, to turn down the amps, you know, to something where the temperature doesn't go above a certain point um what else here oh yeah so these guys here are the connectors that are on this guy and that's to measure the current uh it looks like it's got two independent uh relays so there's two legs really that's all you need two legs right i know there's three uh but it did or four on the 240 uh 220 thing but you only use the two hot ones and then the ground you don't use the uh you actually don't use the what is the white one the white one is the neutral yeah the neutral because the neutral is just a center tap essentially on this so you don't use that you only use the two hot ones um then there's a little connector here these are the cables that would go and send the car the signals right uh, one is a pilot and then the other one is, uh, what's the other one? Ah, for proximity. Oh, there's a proximity sensor in here. So it will know 
when you have your hand on the charger and it lets this know that it, that you're getting ready to either disconnect it. Um, so that's what these gives. And of course, there's two more. I don't know. It might be even a sensor. It might be a sensor. So uh, this part right here, which, which goes into the car, probably has a temperature sensor in here to basically let it know that this connector is faulty and is causing too much heat. And once it detects that, then this little thing sends a unit using the other two cables to the car to derate or to turn the charging process completely off, right? So other things to notice here is how these terminations here are sonically welded. You see that right there? Let's, uh, let's focus in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That is sonically welded onto those little plates, both of those. Uh, this one, I probably use the same thing, but this one is actually shrink tube, or I don't know, maybe I think they use that brushed on thing. Yeah, they use that brushed on thing because that one's higher over here, so it needed to be shielded. Let's take off this assembly. Oh, we have to take this assembly first. That's pretty simple. You just take a screwdriver. There we go. Yeah, and this is just a ground bus bar. And then once you do that, you should be able to pull out. Oh, can you pull those stuff out? Yeah, that's bad. And here we go. This is the uh, relay assembly. Uh, does it have any parts? Which has the... Uh, Hall effect sensor here to detect the uh, current going through there. So yeah, it, it so that's pretty weird. It actually has relays for both of the legs, so it's got two separate relays. It can turn those off. Uh, so probably this is to energize the coil on this one and this one, and then these center ones here are either for temperature sensors or what would that be? Oh, no, I think this is probably feedback to let it know if it's connected or not. Yeah, so two and two. Yeah, that would make sense. So so basically it has feedback so that the um, thing here can know if the relays are engaged or not. If, if they don't engage, then it'll probably, you know, throw a, an error code telling like, yeah, this these relays are burnt up or they're not working or something here's a part number if anybody's interested in that if that means anything to someone look at that 40 amp 277 volts so these are rated at 40 amps and they use them at 32 which is a good ratio there to be able to um make sure that you can run this continuously so anyways, this is just a quick little video, a teardown of the mobile charging cable that comes with your Model 3 on your Model Y and possibly maybe in the Model S, but I'm not sure because I don't own one of those. All right, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.